Hello world, Stephen Michael Zach here. And I just wanna let you guys know that I'm gonna be trying something new. Uh, I'm going to be splitting the videos up. So this is just gonna be a basic overall what the light has, kind of what the light does. But we are going to do an app, a phone app test. We're gonna put on the soft box and we're gonna do some lighting tests, but we're gonna do that in separate videos. I'm gonna start kind of breaking these up when they're bigger. That way my videos are not 20 minutes long. Okay, back to the video. What's up world? Steven Michael Zach here, and today we're talking about the GVM1000D 3 light kit. Now this will cost you $450. Now let's take a look at what it comes with. It comes with three GVM lights in these absolutely lovely bags with the barn doors attached. Three tripods with lovely bags. You'll get three soft boxes with bags, diffusion, and a grid. You'll get a lovely box of three power cords and three power bricks. And lastly, a case to keep it all safe and sound. Now let's talk build quality and let's start with the case because the case is probably the weakest thing about this kit. Now there is some like bendable plastic sewn into the lid here. Uh, but it is not fantastic at all. As you can see, it is quite wibbly wobbly. Um, now, one thing I do like is they do give you a little extra room here. So if you wanna put in the soft boxes or some extra things, you actually can. Uh, but let's take, but if you take a look, this is really just flimsy plastic sewn in here, but let's take a look at the bottom. Uh, also you have to do the kind of this flippy thing to get things out. Uh, it's very, very odd the way this is designed. But as you can see right here, um, the power brick box already dented this thing and I only had it for like a couple of days and it did that. So not the strongest material. You will also note there are also welts from the uh, knobs from the back of the unit uh, and that's sort of starting to sort of wear in. So this case is very bizarre, not the greatest case in the world. Now let's talk about the light stands. Uh, the light stands do come in a very nice bag. I do appreciate that there are uh, decent bags, but they are typical aluminum light stands. I know a lot of people don't like these. Uh, they do have some weight to them and they will actually physically hold the lights because the lights are very lightweight. Uh, now, setup is very, very easy. Uh, the knobs work fairly well. I'm gonna put this down on the floor over here. Uh, you do have to tighten these quite a bit. But once you tighten these, there's no slippage. I'm putting my full weight on it. So they are not going to slip. Uh, so the light stands are not bad. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like these, but uh, they will do the trick. Now, one thing to look out for is this. And that is, uh, these tips are very, 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 very cheap aluminum. Uh, it's already shredding the aluminum already. And that's just by having tightening the light stands onto this. So you might want to replace these light stands uh, as I don't know how long this tip is going to last uh, because it's cheap aluminum and it's uh, shredding. So there you go. Now let's talk about the softbox. Now first off, it comes in one of these very cheap nylon bags. I personally am not a fan of this kind of bag. I find that they, if it snags on something sharp, it starts to tear. Uh, the, the threading shreds very easily. Uh, this does feel a little bit more high quality than what I'm used to, but, and it does have a really good Velcro, but again, uh, not my personal favorite. So looking inside here, the build quality of this is not bad. Again, the, what I like about this softbox is that it sort of has the ability to Velcro to itself, which is very, very cool. Uh, so it wraps up very nicely. And again, it is got that same bendable plastic inside that the cover has. And setting this thing up is a breeze. You just kind of snag it around and line it up with the unit and then use these straps to Velcro nice and easy. It does come with a piece of diffusion and you'll see when I do the setup portion of this, uh, this diffusion is too small, as is the grid. They both work very well, uh, but they're almost a little too small to fit inside this box. And lastly, we have the light here. Now, first off, it does have plastic barn doors. Again, plastic barn doors aren't my favorite, uh, but they do actually cut fairly well. And you'll see in the lighting video when I do that later in the week, because um, I will be doing more testing with this later in the week, that, uh, you know, they're okay. Uh, now, they are screwed on with thumb screws. Again, not my favorite, and you do have to take the barn doors off to mount the softbox. Uh, it does have a plastic plate in here. Uh, which is removable. 
And as we remove this very plastic plate, one side is kind of shiny, the other side is matte. And as you can see, there are LEDs in here. The LEDs are in a cross pattern, which should help with multiple shadowing. I'm so glad they've started cross patterning their LEDs. Uh, very, very cool, very solid. The yoke is made of all metal. The knobs here are, of course, plastic. I do miss their metal knobs. Back in the day when I, they started and I first started reviewing GVM, they had all metal knobs. I miss those. And of course, on the back, it is that aircraft aluminum, which should keep your light super, super cool. And you have their typical plastic uh, control box here with a brightness knob, a hue saturation and color and all that fun stuff knobs. Uh, you can press it in to select modes. You get mode button, you get an up and down. It does have a screen, which you'll see. Uh, it does have two batteries, two Sony NPFs. You'll need both to run it. It has a um, uh, AC power and of course you've got your dual power switch. And of course, one thing I love about GVM is they make it very easy for you to find uh, the, the app for the phone because yes, this thing not only has an app, but it's Bluetooth run, not Wi-Fi. So we'll be looking at that as well. Okay, now let's take a look at how this thing works. Now let's go ahead and switch it over to the battery. And as you can see, this has a beautiful, beautiful screen that is pretty viewable from any angle. Uh, always love when they do that. Now you are gonna get your battery indicator if you're on batteries, what channel this is set to, your brightness and your color temperature, your Kelvin. And now this, and you'll get, and it'll tell you what CCT basically it is. Now there are a few modes here. First off is the rotate mode, and this is going to allow you to control everything. So let's go ahead and turn on, open up the barn doors and turn on these lights. And as you can see, uh, this is very, very nice. Um, yeah. So let's turn down the brightness so I don't blind you. And as you can see, the lights are in a very nice cross pattern here. So this is 5600 Kelvin. When you go to 5500 Kelvin, uh, you get the, uh, you, the lights turn on there. And you go all the way down to 36, 34, at 33, and then at 32 they shut off. So this thing does go from 3200 Kelvin all the way up to 5600 Kelvin. And your brightness is from zero to 100. So here we are in rotation mode. And when we push this button in, this will get launched right into your RGB mode. It is a 360 RGB mode. It works very well. Uh, not the brightest thing in the world, but uh, it works just as well as can be expected. Then when you press it again, you've got control of your saturation, so you can desaturate your RGB. Then when you press it again, it takes you back into the CCT mode. Now, let's talk about the modes here and all the fun stuff, all these buttons up here. Now, pressing the mode button, pressing the mode button here, you go into slave mode. Now, GVM has one of the best master slave modes I've ever seen. It just works. In slaver master mode, you will be able to assign a channel, and this channel is going to work with the phone app. So let's assign this channel one, and let's press the mode button again, and that is your master mode. Now, when this is in master mode, and you put the other two lights in slave mode, that is going to control, uh, this is gonna, those two lights will do exactly what this light does. If this was in slave mode, for those of you who don't know, uh, then this light would follow whichever light is in master mode. So finally, going down to app mode, this is going to allow you to uh, Bluetooth connect and use an app with this. We will go into the app in another video, but you do have Bluetooth app control on this light. <coughs> and as far as heat, uh, this thing does not really get hot at all uh, because of their great uh, aluminum here and the way that their, the GVM builds their panels. Uh, this very, very seldomly gets warm. And as far as fan noise, there is none. This does not have a fan at all. Okay, so I just wanna show you something about the phone app. We are gonna do a separate video on how the phone app connects and works. Uh, one thing I do wanna show you is that if you have the phone app connected, you do get special effects. You get lightning, cop car, candle, TV, bad bulb, party, disco, and you do get paparazzi. 
and you can control the uh, bright the brightness. So there you go. Uh, there are special effects. However, you will only be able to access them through the phone app. Okay, now who is this for? Well, if you are a YouTuber, if you are doing things at your home studio, this is a fantastic kit. Now, one thing I will say is that um, the case is quite rubbish. The case is not good at all. I don't know how long the case is going to last. It may last you a while, uh, but as you could see from before, uh, it was it's dented already. It's got very cheap plastic in it. It's also very bizarre because you have to like, take the stuff out of the top, flip it upside down, spin it, open it up, take out the tripods, flip up the thing, take out the control, the, the uh, power bricks and the other light. It's very, very convoluted the way that it is designed. Uh, so you may want to look for a different case. Uh, will it last you a bit? Probably, uh, but it's going to get beat up and I would not trust it to protect these lights. Uh, as you can see from the, from the opening, uh, the, you could already see like the, the knobs pressing against the, uh, the plastic that's sewn into it. It's already denting. So, it is not a great case. I wouldn't put anything on top of it. I wouldn't put it, I wouldn't crush it in any way. Uh, it just doesn't feel like it's going to actually protect the light. Now let's talk about pros and cons and let's talk about what I didn't like with this kit first. The case, I've beaten it to death. It is not a great case. I really wish they gave us either a hard case or uh, some something better than that. Uh, I would have paid a little bit extra for like a hard case. So just know you may have to replace the case. Some other things I don't like, the light stands, the tips, they are made of very, very, very cheap aluminum. They're already starting to shred and that's just from sc gently screwing the lights in. Uh, they're just shredding to pieces. So you may want to replace the light stands even though the stands themselves are pretty good and pretty strong uh, and will hold the unit fairly well. The other thing to note is that if you mount this, mount this light, if you decide to front sling this light, uh, it is a tip risk with those stands. Uh, so keep that in mind. And also if you front sling these, uh, you're gonna see a little bit of bend in the aluminum pole because again, it is just aluminum. Now let's talk about the things I really, really love about this. And first off, the light quality out of this is fantastic. The screen in back is absolutely fantastic. You can just see it from every angle. It's got great controls. It's got both battery operation and uh, power brick operation, which is great. It has one of the best master slave modes I have ever seen. It just works. The inclusion of Bluetooth uh, of a Bluetooth phone app is fantastic. We'll be taking a look at that later on in the week. Um, this thing really is rock solid. There's no fan, it keeps cool. Uh, the plastic barn doors are surprisingly good. Again, in the light test later in the week, you'll see that they cut fairly well. I love the fact that they are now cross patterning their lights. It helps with multiple shadowing. Again, we'll cover that in the lighting portion during the week. And I like the fact that there are still mounting options if you wanna take off the yoke, they have one there and one on this side. So very, very, very cool. I do really love the soft box, which again, we'll cover and I'll go into more of that when we get into that part. Um, but all in all, the light itself is fantastic. Uh, I really do recommend this kit if you are just starting out, if you're a YouTuber. Even if you're traveling, you could do it. Just know that the case is not the best and you have to watch, be careful. Uh, but all in all, I think, again, I've been reviewing GVM products for many years now and this is uh, a, a super improvement to some of their very, very old models. Uh, I really do like this light and I highly recommend it. Uh, I do, however, miss the metal knobs. But that's it, those are my thoughts, but I wanna know yours. So leave your questions and comments in the notes below. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to mash the bell button to be notified we drop a brand new video. And feel free to use the links below as it helps out the channel. I'm Stephen Michael Zach, and this is new to me.